welcome everyone we are now in the month of october and the year is 2022 and in this episode i will show you some of the african violet standards that are in full bloom right now and you've seen some of them previously uh, so they just keep on blooming and blooming even more profusely than in previous videos and then in the next episode i'll show some more standards and also some miniatures and semi-miniatures and possibly a few streptocarpuses so let's get started here with lion's black magic you've already seen it before and it keeps on blooming turned out to be a really good bloomer and an easy grower for me blooms with purple pansy shaped blooms with some pink fantasy and the foliage on this one is variegated dark green lion's black magic next one blooms with double very full double pink blooms i lost a tag on this one and i think uh, I used to have Rhapsody Ingrid, so this might be it, but because I don't have a tag on this one anymore, I will call it a pink double noid. No ID. Noid stands for no ID violet. It blooms very, very nicely with very beautiful kind of bluish shade pink. You know how there is like um, a yellowish pink and a bluish pink? So this one is more kind of in a blue spectrum of pink color. And the bloom stalks are very tall on this one. So it's very, very easy grower and prolific bloomer. This one I just got from my local Trader Joe's when I used to live in Southern California. It's a no ID violet. I don't know who the hybridizer is. I love it for the blue uh, bicolor blooms. Uh, they are kind of dark bluish purple and the top petals are very dark solid color while the lower three petals have this um, uh, transition from the lighter color to the darker color on the edge of the petals and the shiny dark green foliage. And I need to work on the leaves because some of the leaves are already old. You see the yellowing on the color of the leaves. This is an old leaf and it needs to be removed. This one is Optimara Yosemite 2 in the peak of its blooming cycle. I grew it from a leaf that I purchased from the official distributor of Optimaras in the United States, Selective Gardener. And I love it for the very full blooms and the ease of um, cultivating this plant, this particular variety, and the color of the blooms as well. It uh, transitions from white to blue and has some green in the blooms as well. Up to Mara Yosemite with Roman numeral two. This is the first bloom of Buckeye My Oh My. I got it this year from Violet Barn. Uh, Buckeyes are hybrids by Pat Hancock. I like this particular hybrid for variegated foliage and the beautiful uh, unique blooms that are uh, white with some pink centers. And they sparkle in the sunlight. Buckeye, my, oh my. This is a hybrid by Evgeny Arhipov called AE Cancer, and in the native language, it's Aie Rak or Aie Rak Elite. Sometimes there is a word elite added to the name of this hybrid based on my research. Please correct me. I would like to know the proper name of this hybrid. I got this one from Violet Barn as well in the spring of this year. 
I like this hybrid because it blooms very profusely with some purple and a pink puff fantasy blooms. I think the bloom stalks make it look a little bit messy. So the blooms, some of them, the older ones, already kind of like laying down on the foliage and the younger ones are still standing strong. But because it's such a profuse bloomer, I forgive it uh, for a little bit chaotic look. And I will be removing the bloom stalks very soon because I think the center kind of needs a little bit more strength to grow before it blooms again. This one is another variety that I had lost a tag on during my move from California to Oregon. Very important to keep tags on your African violets. I know it now because um, since I lost the tag, I think I will call it a no ID, just like the, the pink one. I used to have Shinoda red wine and I think this is what it is, but um, I will be calling it a no ID from not, now on. This is a dark wine red, double blooms with some green foliage that is curl shaped and it grows as a small standard. I think it's a semi-mini. Next one is Deo Marcipan by Olga Aksonkina. Uh, this is a standard variety with uh, dark green foliage and creamy, um, like cream colored blush, white. I can't even describe the color, it's so beautiful blooms they are very full double blooms and they cascade down as you can see this is one bloom stalk carrying multiple blooms it's a beautiful variety the crown or the rosette is kind of uh, messy right now it has some suckers as you can see the secondary crowns growing inside but i wanted to let it bloom first so i can show you the beautiful blooms and i will be grooming it after this filming. Deo Marcipan. And then last but not least is Apache Midnight. You've seen this one previously before as well, and it is still blooming. Apache is um, a hybrid by Jay Monk, and uh, it blooms with very beautiful dark purple blooms with some variable white edge and it has variegated foliage and this one is an easy grow as well thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode to see more of the blooming standards and also some minis and semi miniatures mm -hmm.